Welcome back to the Snake River EDC channel. Chris James here with you. And uh, today I'm gonna do a review of mini micro affordable bargain multi-tools. Uh, these are what I think consider the best of the best. But before we do that, I gotta give a shout out uh, to Michael Mortara. He stayed at our guest house, our Airbnb, and he gave me and my boys these cool hats, uh, Broken Horn Outfitters. Uh, we, we had the opportunity to go out uh, quail and pheasant hunting with him, had a great time. And so, uh, awesome. Thank you, Mike. I appreciated you staying and, and uh, taking us out hunting with you. But anyways, uh, we're going to talk about several different, uh, I would say micro uh, multi-tools. Um, and let's go ahead and get into it. So uh, here are the knives we're going to be talking, the multi-tools we're going to be talking about today. And I should say that I bought all these with my own money. This video is not sponsored uh, and I'm not being paid by any of these people. This is just my honest opinion about uh, about these. I've uh, bought them with my own money. I've been carrying them over the last couple months and um, got to use them a little bit and figured out uh, what, what I like, what I don't like. Um, and uh, starting from left to right, uh, we've got the True Smart Knife, the SOG Q1 pen, uh, pen multi-tool, uh, the Gerber uh, Dime, and the Leatherman Micro, and the Victorinox Rambler. And so we're going to talk about these. I'll tell you what I like, what I don't like, and maybe you'll figure out which one would work for you. Um, I want to talk about this one first just to get it out of the way. Um, this is the True Smart Knife. Um, I cannot recommend this knife, uh, mainly because I wouldn't use it. I, I don't carry it. I don't really like it. <laughs> uh, the blade is hard to open. Um, whether you use that thumb, thumb hole or the, um, flipper tab in the back, it, it just, it doesn't open smoothly. It's stiff. Um, I don't know when I would ever use these little wrenches. Um, uh, it does have the most tools. It's got 22 or something tools. Uh, if you count the wire strippers and the ruler, the bottle opener, um, probably the most useful thing on it is the blade and the pry bar. Um, I could see myself using those. Um, there is also a screwdriver. This is not the bit it came with. I already lost that, uh, but it does have a little magnetic storage for the screw bit there, the drill bit, and uh, you put it up there. It's magnetic. Um, that's handy. Um, these I think typically are about 20, uh, 22 to $25. I saw some at a gas station the other day for $25. I bought this one at a local hardware store. It was on sale, uh, I think for $14.99 or I probably wouldn't have bought it. But um, it is uh, an interesting little gadget. It's got a file on there. It's got a pocket clip, but uh, it sticks out of your pocket quite a ways. If you're looking for a knife style multi-tool rather than the big uh, traditional folding plier multi-tools, uh, this could work for you, uh, but I don't like it. I, I don't use it and I'm not going to recommend it. If you're uh, in the market for a pen, uh, you know, a tactical pen multi-tool, the SOG Q1 might be right up your alley. I bought this one a few months ago off Amazon. I think I paid around $21 for it, but... I, I noticed they've gone up to about 25, you know, supply and demand, everything's increasing lately. Um, the SOG multi-tool is, uh, this, this Q1 comes with a pair of scissors. Now they have a Q2 that comes with a knife. Uh, if that's your, it's very similar, but it comes with a, a fix or with a knife. Um, and then they've got a Q3 and a Q4 that are more expensive, traditional type multi-tools, um, the best thing about it, you know, is the pen and the scissors. It is a pressurized pen, like a space pen, so it does uh, write will it really well in all conditions. Um, and the scissors are great. You know, I've used these extensively. Uh, the only thing I don't like is sometimes that handle will slide up when you're using them and makes it so you can't close the scissors. Uh, but they came nice and sharp. I cut a lot of paracord with them. I cut a lot of uh, paper packages, things. They're doled a little bit, but uh, I can sharpen them back up and use them. They're, they're a good size for a pair of pocket scissors. It does come with a screwdriver and a uh, bottle opener, can opener, 
Um, so it, that's, that's where the multi-tool aspect comes in. Um, so it only has about four tools, but uh, if you're looking for something to carry around the office, it's, it's a bit heavy for a pen. Uh, but I, I carry it not in my shirt pocket, but in my uh, jeans pocket. I, I work in an office environment, and so I don't need a, a blade that much. Um, but a pair of scissors comes in handy, and a pen always comes in handy. Um, and who knows when you gotta got to flip a cap off a drink or tighten a screw. So if you're looking for something kind of minimalistic uh, that has a pen in it uh, for a cheap price, um, you know, you can't really go wrong with that. The materials are sturdy and the uh, pen is good quality. It's just the only complaint I have is it's a little bulky. Um, but other than that, it's awesome. And uh, it's pretty cool. I like showing it off. Uh, the best value for the money, I really think, is this Gerber dime. There's a lot of things I like about it, a couple things I don't like. I, I love that the tools are on the outside. It's got about nine tools in total, oh, nine or 10. Um, it's got a small blade, it does work. I used it for a little whittling. Um, so it is it is versatile even though it's small. Um, it's got a box opener, a, another little blade there. And then it has, uh, has a couple different screwdrivers with a little file. And it has a pair of scissors, I will say uh, that compared to the other multi-tools on here, these scissors are crap. Uh, they don't cut very well. I tried to cut a piece of paracord with them. Couldn't even get through the, the first paracord when they were brand new sharp out of the box. Um, work okay for cutting paper, I assume, or or fishing line or, or small things like that. But it, it it's not going to do any heavy-duty cutting. Um, it does have a, a, a pair of removable tweezers here, which is handy. They just slide right under the handle there. And uh, it has a bottle opener on the end here. This came in handy over the Thanksgiving holiday. Uh, we had a bunch of sparkling cider that needed opened and nobody had a bottle opener. And a small pair of pliers uh, with a wire cutter, uh, which I think makes 10 tools. So not very often I need a small pair of pliers like this, but um, does uh, does come in handy. I do like the... I like the little blade and the, and the bo bottle cap lifter. Um, I put a little bit of paracord on it. I, I just do that in my pocket uh, and make it a little bit easier to find uh, when it's hiding down in your pocket. Next, uh, different option. Uh, instead of a pair of pliers, uh, the Leatherman Micra comes with a pair of scissors. I think this is a great option for someone, especially a fisherman, uh, someone who's cutting a lot of thread or string um, opening packages, things like that. Um, honestly, for this size of a multi-tool, I'd rather have a good pair of scissors than, uh, than a pair of pliers. Uh, cause I usually have one of my full size multi-tools like, uh, the Leatherman Free or a full size Gerber. Um, I have the Leatherman in my truck and the, and the Gerber in my survival pack. Um, it comes with a bunch of other tools, screwdrivers, can opener, um, it's got a pair of tweezers, but they're not removable. Um, another screwdriver file, uh, the blades a little bit bigger on this one than it is on the, on the Gerber. So that's nice. And, um, a file and another screwdriver. Um, I don't know. These scissors are definitely uh, a good size. They're a little bit bigger than the Gerber, but I don't think that they were as sharp out of the box as the SOG or even the Victor Victorinox. Um, so they're decent, decent pair of scissors, good size, sturdy. Um, I don't like this one that you have to unfold the scissors to get at the tools inside. I like how on the Gerber they are, the tools are on the outside. I like that better. Uh, but still small, compact, a little bit thinner, uh, slightly longer, longer. Um, but you can carry that around in your pocket. Um, here's another favorite of mine, and I've been carrying this a lot lately, uh, the Victorinox uh, Rambler. Um, it's similar to the Classic. I have a Classic here too. It's slightly thicker because it has an extra tool in it. And there are a couple things why I like the Rambler more. 
Now you can get the classic for anywhere from 16 to $20. I got this one at Walmart, which is the cheapest place I've seen for $11.88. Um, and you can get them more expensive, $30 even with different scales and things. Um, but this is just slightly more at uh, $24.99 is what I paid for it on Amazon, which I think was the only place I could find it that had it in stock. Um, but uh, you get all the same tools as the, as the classic. You've got your little knife there. You've got uh, your pair of scissors, which as I mentioned are very good. They're sharp. Um, and uh, you've got uh, a file and a screwdriver and the ever popular toothpick. This is probably the thing I use the most on here and why I like carrying it. Uh, you've also got a little pair of removable tweezers that are functional, they work good. And you've got uh, the thing that separates it from the classic is this tool here. You've got a Phillips head screwdriver, uh, a bottle opener, and it looks like a little stripper there. So for, you know, five, six dollars more, you get this extra tool. It all, it's the same length, it adds a little bit to the thickness, but I think it's worth it to have a Phillips screwdriver and a, and a bottle opener. Those are two commonly used tools that, uh, that I use all the time. Uh, the other nice thing is on the Classic, when you open the blade, the blade is next to the key ring. So if you've got this attached to your keys, um, it makes it a little more difficult to handle. Whereas on the, the Rambler, the blade opens uh, opposite of the key ring, which is awesome because then if you're using the knife, you don't have your keys in the way, they're back here. And where I've got this little paracord on there, it extends my grip for my other two fingers. It gives them something to hold on to, a little more secure. So definitely recommend the Rambler. It comes with a little storage pouch to put it in. Um, handy to keep in your pocket. I carry it a lot. It works good for me. It's small. Um, it's in my pocket. I almost forget it's there. Um, but I think the best value for the money, as far as the number of tools you get, and uh, the price, um, I paid $19.99 uh, for this Gerber. And that was like a pre-Black Friday special. And they came with also a Gerber para knife. So I got a, a, a folding knife and this Gerber uh, dime for $19.99, which is a still of a deal because I think they're about $22 regular price uh, without the knife. So... It's great except for the scissors. I like everything about it except for the scissors. You can pull all of these tools, access all these tools from the outside, uh, except for the pliers. And it's just, it's bar none the best. Um, the Leatherman was about $30. I think I got it $29.99. Um, so it's a little bit more expensive than the Gerber. Uh, if, if you need a, pair, a bigger pair of scissors, that's the way to go. Um, if you gotta have scissors, don't go for the Gerber. Um, but the Gerber's great for everything else. The Leatherman uh, has has you covered on the bigger size scissors. And the Victorinox is good all around if you want more of a traditional pocket knife style. Um, the Sog's great if you need a pen. You want a little multi-tool pen. And then the True, I, I, again, I don't really recommend that one. But that's, that's what we've got for you today. Got to finish up with the joke for the day. Um, so three guys were out hunting. And I use these nationalities generically, but we had uh, an American, a Canadian, and a Frenchman. Uh, and the um, American goes out hunting and comes back with a rabbit. And the Frenchman says, man, how'd you get that rabbit? And the American says, well, I followed the tracks uh, and I shot the rabbit. And uh, so then the Canadian goes out hunting and he comes back with a deer. And the Frenchman's like, man, how did you... How did you get that deer? And uh, the Canadian says, well, I, follow, I followed the tracks and, uh, it, uh, and I shot the deer. And the Frenchman goes out hunting and he comes back and he's all beat up and bruised and bloody. And they're like, man, what happened to you? And he said, well, I uh, followed the tracks and I got hit by a train. <laughs>